Direct editing can dramatically speed up the design process in instances where the model is not driven by a parametric or kinematic sketches that may cause the direct editing to fail later. If time constraints dictate that you need to tweak a design quickly, direct editing also works on sheet metal parts and can get the job done quickly. The sheet metal part shown in the window already has a flat pattern definition and a drawing associated with it. Switch to the drawing and note the two dimensions that were placed. Now, switch back to the sheet metal part model. Notice that the direct command cannot be found on any of the panels on the sheet metal tab. Switch to the 3D Model tab. The direct command is located here on the Modify panel. The reason the direct command is not located on the Sheet Metal tab is because that tab already has all of the commands needed to create and modify sheet metal parts. The direct command should be considered an adjunct to the normal parametric tools found in Inventor not a replacement. Having said that, direct editing can be a great time saver and a valuable tool when it is used wisely. On the 3D Model tab, Modify Panel, select the Direct command. You should not use the Direct command on any feature that was created with sheet metal commands, even though you can. Select Move on the mini toolbar, and then select the top face. Drag the manipulator arrow upwards about 20 millimeters or so, and then click Apply. The Create Direct Edit feature warning will appear. This is because you will have damaged the A-side definition and ruined the flat pattern if you continue. Click Cancel. Change the selector on the mini toolbar to Size. Try to select the larger of the two holes on the top flange, but you should notice that it cannot be selected. That is because the hole is a parametric hole and should be adjusted using the hole command that was used to create it. Now try the smaller hole and you will see that it can be selected. That is because the hole is just a round extrude cut. If this feature were a drilled hole or a punched feature, the correct tools should be used for their creation, but in the case of a plasma, laser, or other cutting tools, direct editing like this would be fine. Type minus one, then press enter. You will now widen the main body by 20 millimeters on each side. On the direct edit mini toolbar, switch to the move selector, and then select the right side of the main body. Pull the manipulator towards you, and the heads-up display appears. Type 20, and press Enter. Switch to the opposite side, and select that side. Pull the manipulator arrow, and again type 20, and press Enter. Note that this time, you moved in the positive direction. The last direction edit will be to lengthen the flange on the left side by 30 millimeters. Rotate the model and select the end of the flange. Pull the manipulator, type 30, and press Enter. Cancel the direct command. 
notice that there are now two direct edit features in the browser. Switch to the drawing and you can see the changes. Direct Edit can be an incredibly fast tool for making minor tweaks to sheet metal parts, but using it for anything that will thicken the material will cause a failure. It is always best practice to modify the underlying sketch to retain clear design intent, but when speed is of the essence, Direct Edit can help get modified drawings out the door quite rapidly.